The Nigerian Society of Engineers NSE has officially launched its professional development training program aimed at advancing engineering practices across the country. The flag of ceremony held at the NSE office, Victoria Island Lagos, marks the commencement of a series of specialized courses focused on critical areas such as digital transformation in engineering practices, data analytics, and cybersecurity. In his opening remark, the Vice President of the NSE Professional Development Services, Engineer Dauda Okodua, enjoined all beneficiary engineers to make the most of the opportunity. Of course, in the course of this training, there will be an interactive session. There will be homework for you to take home. You need to submit it on time. And of course, at the end of the program, there will be a board. I want to enjoin all our engineers, senior and young, please take this program very seriously. And of course, after this, we'll have more of this training coming up. This is the first for this year. And after this, we're going to have the second one coming up. In a welcome address, the president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer Margaret Aino Oguntala, emphasized the mission of the NSE in promoting engineering excellence in the nation. Since its establishment, our great society has remained steadfast in its mission to advance engineering excellence, promote capacity building, and contribute to national development. It is heartwarming that on this historic occasion, we are launching a capacity building program, which is one of the core objectives of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Empowering Engineers. On 20th of January 2024, at my investiture, we unveiled the strategic agenda with the theme rebuilding the NSC for the growth empowerment and advancement of engineering in Nigeria. And this event that you're having today is rested well on one of the pillars of that agenda. The representative of the All Producers Trade Section, OPTS, who happens to be the sponsor of the training program, emphasized on the importance of capacity development. Human capacity development is very important. Uh, it is not enough to say that you are an engineer. But you need to ask yourself, you know, am I really competent? Do I understand what is required in terms of engineering practices, the ethics? Uh, I really want you to take advantage of this opportunity that has been uh, placed before you by our uh, president uh, so that you not only gain knowledge but always ask yourself, how do I apply this knowledge in my way of life? The facilitators of the training program, the MD CEO of Cited, Engineer Bola Bido, and also the MD of Techlitics, Oluwataya Winkule, spoke briefly on what to expect. We have different portfolios of uh, trainings. Uh, our trainings are, uh, for some 15 years, we changed the dynamics of our training to be more personal training. Uh, practical oriented and we support a lot of companies you know in terms of training they are engineers and they are technicians and there are three categories of subject areas you know that will be covered during the six weeks that you know you will be with us we have the beam we'll be taking beam uh, uh, we'll be taking air application in engineering and then the second category will be that data analytics and predictive maintenance and cyber security. And then the last part, which will be the last two weeks, will be for IoT, you know, in uh, engineering, IoT system design, exercises, and also project management. To so, attend the take of the work, we're proud to be, we're proud and we're also inspired to be taking that training for uh, data analytics, where participants will be learning about, we'll be learning three tools visually and it will be practical and hands on. Learning or using Microsoft Excel, that's like the oldest precious That's one of the biggest precious tools that um, almost all of us use on a daily basis um, in the corporate world. You'll be learning Power BI, that's one of the big um, 
visualization tool that anybody can use to be able to visualize and uh, discern patterns and trends when it comes to um, when it comes to visualization and storytelling. We would also be working or we would also be learning SQL structured query languages. So you'll be learning those uh, those three tools and uh, by by the end of March, uh, we was sincerely was sincerely cheering you on and uh, giving you all the support you would get you would necessarily would need to be able to graduate. The training program, which is set to enhance the skill set of Nigerian engineers, is designed to prepare them for evolving demands of the global engineering landscape. The courses are expected to provide engineers with the tools necessary to incorporate digital technologies into their work make data-driven decisions and ensure robust cybersecurity in engineering solutions. The training program is expected to foster collaboration, innovation and knowledge exchange within the Nigerian engineering community.